It's been a week of show and tell of Charlotte O'Malley High School's finest, from a brand new social studies lab to 20 new computers and countless student exhibits. We have prepared ourselves for this visit. Um, we've conducted our self-study and we have compiled the evidence to indicate that we have met the standards. Principal Carmen Howell says that all these boxes of paperwork make the case that the school should be extended its full accreditation status through 2018. That decision now rests with the Middle States Association. They have to have documents available, everything is exposed. The whole school exposes, opens itself towards the committee that's visiting. After nine long months of planning, now it's the waiting period. Middle States Association will meet again in February to decide if Charlotte O'Malley's accreditation should be extended through 2018. You always want to know right away, but um, based on the conversations that we've had and based on the work that we've done, I anticipate a very positive review, a very positive report, and so I will wait it out. The Middle States Association can't comment publicly yet on the evaluation of Charlotte O'Malley, but it seems that the Chicken Hawks made a good impression. One of the things that we've, I've told Ms. Howell along the way, we came as, as evaluated, but we're leaving as, as adopted hawks, so Chicken Hawks, so this has made an impression. That's how far the commitment and spirit of the school is. And the Chicken Hawks hope that impression is long-lasting and brings long-lasting accreditation. Alison Bourne-Vanek, News 2.